no, no, no. Hey guys, what's up? This is the Kregatron and I decided to do a random seed preview today so uh, what I did was I just joined in a, some random world and uh, let it load and everything and uh, it turned out to be really awesome even though there is only like one town you know not too much stuff but there are some awesome features there's a huge ravines the cave systems are pretty amazing so uh, I'll show you around in creative a little bit, show you some of the highlights that I found, and then I'll play some survival. Okay, so we'll first start off looking at the map, and you can tell there's lots of land, lots of places to explore, you know, it's not covered by oceans or water, you know, gives you plenty of opportunity, there's a huge forest which you spawn in, so that's great to start off in near a forest, you know, tons of trees and resources for that. And then we'll go into here, we'll go into the blacksmith and check out the chest, see what's in there. Um, pretty, pretty decent um, loot, you know, two diamonds, five obsidian, some food, you know, in case you get hungry. So it would be great to check that out, if, you know, when you play in survival mode. You can tell there's tons of huge mountains and mountain formations you know which are really nice over here let's see here we'll get right in the middle and I'll give you the coordinates these are the coordinates for it and if you look it's just tons and tons of caves and great for resources you know when you're playing in survival I would say this is this would be a great survival map, especially if you like adventuring, you know, and going around and doing a lot of the cool, you know, checking out all the cool places to go and, you know. And then if you go down here, this is like really amazing, guys. It is huge. Let's see here. Where is it? I mean, these are just all the caves. Right here. This is just like really epic, you know, huge cavern and tons of lava flows, tons of waterfalls, which are, you know, nice when you're gathering buckets of water or trying to deal with the lava, you know, not trying to die or anything. And just. I mean, you could see it goes on for quite a while, and, you know, even some more, and just, I couldn't believe how huge this cave system was. Absolutely great for, you know, especially if you're trying to get materials, like iron, but I'm sure there's a bunch of gold down here, I'm sure you can find diamonds, let's see here. How deep are we? We're at 18. So maybe a little bit deeper for diamonds. But, I mean, as and it does go deeper. I just thought, like, this was absolutely epic right here. How huge and all the different places you can explore. I really loved it. And uh, let's go to another one of my favorite things about this map that I found. Alright guys, I'm back and then here's another one of uh, the features that I absolutely loved about this map. Here's the coordinates if you're looking for it and it goes you just go right down here 
and it leads to this amazing ravine it's also really huge you know tons of exploring tons of caves which I just love you know I just love like when you you're playing survival and you can you find like these places that are just like they're almost awe-inspiring you know you know I don't want to explore too much because I want you guys to enjoy it, but I just want to show you some of the key features. And I mean, this place is huge. And then it leads to this lava flow right here, which is right here on the coordinates. And it just goes on and on and on and on. And I thought. This would be so amazing. I can't wait to play this in survival, which I'm going to show to you guys in just a second. So I hope you enjoy this map. And I will see you guys when I start playing survival. All right, guys, here's the seed number. And I'll also make sure to put it in the description and we will start off in survival Okay, so you start off and it's actually, let's see here, yeah we're in the forest area which is nice, you know, lots of wood, lots of supplies, easy to build a house and start off, so perfect. Alright guys, I just skipped the boring part, you know. Gathering all the stuff, getting supplies, food, getting ready to go explore, got a little bit of iron, you know, a little bit more armor to protect myself. And I will see you guys at the first opening of the cave. Alright guys, here's the coordinates to the first cave that I found near the spawn. Okay. I just followed the river until I found, you know, a little cave opening. And it looks like there's some iron right there. And we'll go see what's what else is down here. Alright guys, so I've been going through this cave a little bit and one thing I can tell you is that it is a pretty big cave. You know, it's pretty substantial. There's quite a bit of iron around here. Like there's some right behind this waterfall. There's some here some coal, you know, I can see some coal down there, there's more iron, here's some iron, you know, there's some iron, so there's a, a lot of resources right off the bat, and you can tell it just goes down and down and down, so I, I'm going to go try to check out some more caves, and around the area, the spawn point, see if I can find some more resources and I will check back with you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, here's the coordinates to the other cave that is close to the spawn and just want to show that there's lava like really close and it just goes down. Like here is a huge, huge ravine, you know, and it keeps going down, so another really 
cool epic place right near the spawn pretty big there's quite a few resources you know that I already mined and like here with some coal and here's some water so Let's see if I can oh some iron if I can get this safely. Looks like there's some water down there. Let's see if I can jump. Oh! Trying not to die. No, 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 no. Got you. Eat something real quick. And. I will get back with you guys once I find some more stuff. Okay guys, so I've been down here for about 10 minutes now, or 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, and not too long to explore everything, but it, I have found about 39 iron, um, 10 gold, so a lot of resources, look at how huge and epic, you know, this thing is, it just goes on for a while and there's even a bunch of side caves that go on for quite a bit Alright guys, I'm going to end this video and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you saw some of the stuff. Obviously there's tons of resources down here. There's a ton of iron behind me. I see some coal, a little bit of gold. I mean, if you look at my inventory, I've got about 57 iron, 13 gold. So pretty good resources, a bunch of coal, you know. It's been really fun. I hope you guys enjoy this seed and check it out on your own. Please like and subscribe.